Ceasefire now! Ceasefire now! So we've been going around to Congress today to different offices in the Senate to demand a ceasefire and an end for U.S. support to Israel's brutal massacre, the genocide in Gaza. The House has approved over $14 billion in additional funding for Israel on top of the over $3 billion we provide every year. And these offices, it's a lot of the same. They're telling us people aren't in, there's nothing they can do, they'll pass along the message. What more do they need to hear? Two thirds of this country want a ceasefire, 80% of Democrats want a ceasefire, and the head of the Foreign Relations Committee in the Senate, who's a Democrat, will not speak up for a ceasefire. Chuck Schumer won't speak up for a ceasefire. How many more people do they need to hear? There are people in all sorts of other offices right now as we speak, and we're just telling them, nobody trusts you guys. You don't represent us. We all want a ceasefire. We want no more blood on our hands. How many more people need to die before they change their mind? And you know, a lot of these senators and representatives claim they support Palestinians because they want a humanitarian pause. It's really important we stay focused on the goal of a ceasefire because a humanitarian pause means they'll let in a tiny bit of food, a tiny bit of water, and then go back to relentlessly bombing and committing genocide in Gaza. We want a ceasefire. We want an end to all U.S. military aid to Israel. We want a total end to the siege on Palestine. And those are our demands.